Hello, Brother Tom here. Well, we've made it. We have all gone through so much these past four months. Um, the stress of all the unknowns we've dealt with, the financial hardships many of us have endured, uh, the loss of loved ones. You know, this Christmas, um, for me, it's a little different. It's my first Christmas without my dad. Uh, uh, miss him dearly. Uh, but this, this was, Christmas was his favorite season. And, and we'll all get through this. Um, but I am more aware, and I think many of us are, than ever of all the things we can be thankful for. Um, and it's something we should not take for granted, all the blessings we have with us each day. You know, when we started school uh, late August, I was in my mind, to be honest with you, was uh, I hope we make it to October 1st. And then uh, I hope we make it to November 1st and then Thanksgiving. And here we are on the verge of Christmas vacation and uh, we've done extraordinarily well here. Uh, we have all pulled through this together fly strong and we are very grateful. We have so much to be thankful for at this time of year. Uh, first and foremost in my mind is so grateful and thankful that we were able to have our students, all 1,700 young flyers, back in the classroom every day for live classes. And uh, that was so critical to us uh, to get that accomplished. And kudos to the kids, to the teachers, did an outstanding job. Um, thankful to hear them playing outside. You know, we had a fall sports program, won the soccer championship, as you've heard me mention, won the cross country championship. Uh, to hear the kids playing outside in gym class. I mean, just the laughter and their banter, so much the sounds of normalcy was what we wanted. Uh, and thankful for all the prayers and the kind words and the gestures you all have given to us over these past four months to support us. We, we felt it, every single one of those gestures. Uh, one of my um, favorite Peloton riders is uh, Robin Arzon. And oftentimes during a really tough ride, she'll encourage the, the, the uh, wolf pack, so to speak, to keep pushing forward, keep riding. And she says, remember this, you have survived every one of your worst days. And she'll like say that like we're going right into the camera at you. And that just drives you to, to achieve more. And think about it. We have all survived every one of our worst days and that can keep us going. So from all of us, from the brothers, from Buster here, uh, wishing you all a very merry, holy, and healthy Christmas. And uh, here's the promise that the new infant child Jesus brings to each of us, the promise of a brighter, healthier, and fly a strong new year. Merry Christmas.